Hello there, I'm John McLaughlin. Welcome to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about LiveGood. We're going to be talking a bit more about LiveGood. Um, if you want a more in-depth review on LiveGood and my own experiences with the LiveGood company, then you can click up the card just above here, wherever it's going to be. Um, what I want to answer in this video is essentially, when is the best time to start LiveGood? When is the best time to get involved? Um, and if you're looking at this video, if you've looked at some of the LiveGood reviews, um, if you're looking at the LiveGood compensation plan and you've gone through some due diligence, you're not really sure whether to get started or, or whether you should leave it till later, let me just answer a few of those those typical questions that people people really got when, when they're looking at doing some due diligence when joining LiveGood. So traditionally with online businesses, um, they always slow down over the summer months. So if you're currently a Live Good affiliate and you're thinking, well, I've been doing all this marketing, I've been getting some good success over, you know, uh, over the winter months, and, and now it's the spring, and then into the summer, it's really slowed down. Have I done something wrong? Well, no, you haven't. Okay, so back to the question: When is the best time to start? Well, the the time the best time to start is right now, and. I know anybody watching this will go, yeah, I was going to say that because he's an affiliate. He's going to try and get people to get involved straight away. But here's what, here's why I say that and here's the justification for that. So essentially, everything slows down, as I said, with digital marketing, with business in general over the summer. And people are out doing stuff. They're on holiday. They're enjoying the weather by the beach. Um, well, if you don't live in the UK, that is. And, and so generally, business is a lot slower. And what I say is that if you get involved in LiveGood, um, say today, then you're going to get in, you're going to start doing some marketing, and you're probably not going to get a huge amount of results um, if you're brand new. And this is what I always say to brand new people. You've got to get into LiveGood and you've got to give it 12 months before you make any decisions on whether you're going to stay or whether you're going to go or whatever you're going to do. And one of the guys in my team, really, really experienced guy, um, he said, live good is either a business or it's an investment. And if you consider the fact that live good, if you get involved for a whole year, and that's what I did when I got involved, cost you like a hundred dollars. You know, there's, 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 there are opportunities out there that's going to cost you more than that every single month. Okay, so in terms of how much it's going to cost for expenses, it's a no-brainer. Now, if you go and invest that hundred dollars in a bank for a you know, for 12 months, what are you going to get? Okay, probably bank charges. All right, but that's the, that's the point. And then if you then develop the Live Good business on top of that by, you know, using and looking at the Live Good affiliate program, then potentially you could make money from that um, if you get in and you get busy and you do the work that is, that is required. And I say potentially because some people get in and they'd go, okay, I'm just going to wait for spillover. And, um, you know, if you if you look at my channel, you'll see I've got a video that talks about spillover and whether it's real or whether it's not. So if you're doing some due diligence and someone said you can get in, you don't have to sponsor anybody, you, you can make money, um, then have a look at that video because it is possible. Um, but certainly I don't recommend it because, you know, why get into a business and not do anything? It, ju it just doesn't really wash well with me so the best time to get involved in any sort of business particularly live good business number one it's low cost but if you get involved now here's here's the real reason why it'll work for you when it comes to the autumn and the winter when you get involved one of my strat one of my marketing strategies is doing video um, some people hate it some people can learn it okay but essentially, if you are in a position where you get involved in LiveGood and then you start putting those marketing uh, strategies and you start building that marketing collateral, it's almost like putting money in the bank, okay, and waiting for this return, okay, when it comes to the autumn. Because what's going to happen is it's going to, the, the, the economy, the online business economy has its own does its own thing okay you know come the, the winter months we have a boom um, we then go through the holidays which can can either do one or two things generally at the moment last few years 
during holiday time it's, it's done really really well and then you get up to spring where you get a bit of a slowdown you get the the summer where you get a bit of a recession and then come the autumn you get a recovery and then winter you get a boom again and that's just the way it goes it's the way it's always been and the way it always will be so what i'll say to you if you're in live good right now and it's slowed right down don't worry because the boom the recovery and the boom is coming all right but here's what happens sometimes is that people start to see the recovery and they get into the boom and they go cranky i've got to get involved in this live good it's doing crazy things okay like it did in the winter and you know in in the spring of, of that's just gone and by the time it comes to the autumn and the winter it's too late because you're scrambling to get videos together you're competing with more people you, you're thinking why haven't why didn't i do this in the summer when it was quiet so that that is my personal recommendation to you is that whatever you're doing whatever you're doing online whatever you're doing in business whether it's whether it's the live good business whether it's live good or anything else start building now okay start putting that collateral together start putting videos on your youtube start you know putting articles on your blog just start to get assets out there and then when it comes to the autumn and that recovery like i said you'll be in a position to benefit from that financially okay um that is it really you know and and whatever whatever you're doing the outlook and the economy in terms of online stuff is always the same you know when there's a when there's a recession out you know in uh glo when there's a global recession okay outside of the business the business always booms okay and when, whenever you get sort of bad news there's always a boom in, in in this industry and what happens is people try and catch the tail end of that boom and most people most people it's too late oh i've got to do it maybe i'll do it next year okay so now is the time to get involved and now is the time to start building that collateral and if you're brand new if you're you know if you're somebody who is brand new to to online marketing um i know it's it can seem daunting um but with the resources that i have together with my team and what i do for my team and the the help and support that you've got available you've got everything you need to be able to go out there and put yourself in front and center of your audience and start to get results with you know with the things that we do and it's just a case of just going out there and doing some work it's really important to do that you've got to go out there and do some work um, if you don't do any work nothing's going to happen okay that might sound like a real patronizing comment okay but there are so many people get involved in digital marketing businesses and just kind of poke it with a stick and give it a bit of a kick and yeah i'll do it tomorrow okay and tomorrow never comes and then they quit and they go that was a waste of time well no you wasted your time with the business the business was there already you know so so that's it i'm not going to go on any longer so right now is the time to get involved in live good um, if you're doing some research if you're doing your due diligence your due and diligence cranky with live good then now is the time to get involved and the other thing that you know people are always wondering about is well who do i who do I get involved with? Am I going to get involved with the right person who's going to give me the help and support? Am I going to get involved with somebody who does great video but then just leaves me? Okay, so let me just show you my screen here. Um, in fact, yeah, let me just show you my screen. So right now, um, currently I've enrolled around 50 people. Um, and of course, battle and attrition rates, I've now got 42 people in the team that I've personally sponsored. And as a team, globe as a, as a team effort 611 pain members okay and live good has gone from when i joined in february from 28,000 people to over half a million people in what seven months six seven months six months um six months five months which is incredible and you know the business when i first got involved they were saying okay live good is now projected to go to over a million members in the first 12 months of trading with this particular business model um and yeah always seems nice but that's that's so much on track now you know so you've got an additional half a million people who are going to come on board and they've got to sign up with somebody 
So the people that they're going to sign up with are people who are putting out videos, putting out their collateral and getting in front of those people. Okay, and those people are out there. Okay, so they haven't joined yet. So they're either going to join up with me or they're going to, potentially they can join up with you. And the other thing about this, the business model, the live good business model, is that it has what we call spillover. I know I've I mentioned that before and I always say don't rely on spillover. However, a lot of people in my team have got a lot of spillover. You know, one guy has got hundreds of people in his team um, and he's sponsored too. Uh, and the same goes for many people in my team. So whatever you hear about the business model is 100% reliable and true. Um, you know, the what, what spoils this business sometimes is some of the marketing tactics um, that other people adopt who don't really understand how to market and don't really understand the business. So they just spam everywhere and you know it's uh you, you can get that but um you know what we do is we put proper marketing uh, strategies together tried and tested strategies and if we try something that doesn't work then we always bring it through to a conclusion to make it work and then that gets distributed through the team and the team can use it um, if they want to so I hope that uh, video has helped. Um, if you're considering Live Good and if you're wondering whether to get involved or not, or whether you're wondering if the timing is right for you. Um, so if you've got any questions, if there's anything that you'd like to know, um, you can just drop a comment just below this video. Uh, if you look at the description, uh, you'll see a link below as well. So if you want to start Live Good and uh, you want to join with my team and give you all the help and support that you need, um, the link will be below. And also, if you want to send me an email, um, the link will be below in there as well. So just send me an email, reach out, any questions that you've got. Um, I'm generally uh, in the office, um, or if not, I'm on the phone. So uh, I, can, I can answer you anytime. All right, hope that helps. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.